Before we begin this farewell message, please make sure you have no unauthorized materials in your possession, i.e. your cell phone, still miraculously on your person. Any questions about the notice to candidates? No? Good. Let's begin. I want you to close your eyes and think back to the heady days of pre-IB. Think about yourself in grade 9 and 10 when you were so much more naive, carefree, well-rested. Now stop thinking about it because you probably just remembered something embarrassing you did. But don't worry, no one remembers it. After all, you've been going to the school for four years, but you probably still couldn't tell me the exact time lunch starts. Is it 11.50? 11.55? It doesn't matter, chances are you took history or geo and you make up your numbers anyway. But whatever the case might be, you have now reached the end. On your journey, you have faced treacherous obstacles, such as the snow day predictor websites that got your hopes up every time, only to dash them against the rocks of the Ottawa Student Transportation Authority the next morning. You have found solace in the IB boost, which was so majestic that you didn't even care that all your teachers insisted on calling it a conversion. And now you are done. Take a look around you and appreciate all the people you could not have done this without. Think of your parents, who have shepherded you across the city so many times that they have the Ottawa traffic patterns memorized. Think about your teachers, who always push tests back for you, even though you agreed on the date three weeks ago. If you thought having to write an essay on a book you didn't even read was bad, imagine having to read 60 of those essays and then assign it a market of 25, which you then turn into a market of 7, which you then turn into a market of 100, at this point a mark considerably higher but students will still complain about. And lastly, think about your friends. Yes, even though Mr. Harthen likes to joke that your social life has reached a point where the only notifications you get are from Manage Back, you actually do have friends, and they are with you right now. Look around at your cohort, the people whose shoulders you could cry on, the people who sat with you throughout the entirety of 75 minute exams because you weren't allowed to leave during the first hour or the last 15 minutes, the people you could discuss the exam with within 24 hours. Each of you cried through six IAs, paid $1,000 to write 15 exams in under three weeks, and wrote a 4,000 word essay on a topic so obscure no one is ever going to ask you about it again. You will all be tied inextricably together in my heart with a small green string tie. You are more than just graduates. You are survivors. You did not let IB finish you. And now, you have finished IB. Said Cass, you should probably do that soon.